ear whisper, 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 um, maybe, 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 maybe some stuttering and a little bit, 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 a little bit of personal attention while I answer, 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 while I answer some of your questions, 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 um, I was supposed to film this on my I was supposed to film this on my birthday, which was like two days ago, um, but I ended up being too rushed. I ended up being in too much of a rush because for my birthday, for my birthday, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? My birthday, my birthday, my birthday, my birthday, my birthday, my birthday is on St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day. stay over, stay over for the night with my, um, family, with my family, my parents and my brother and my, uh, grandparents and my boyfriend, we all went to stay for the night, um, because we just really weren't bothered for, like, the town in Derry and everything, like, it just be crazy, 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 like, it'd be such good crack, but it's just so crowded and it's so hard to get a drink, and, oh, it's just, it just, it just wasn't my vibe this year, it just wasn't, it just wasn't my vibe this year. So I didn't have time because we had to leave early. We had to leave early, 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 early to make sure we could be in the bar at like one o'clock. So I'm filming it now. I have, I have your questions. I have, I have, I have, I have, I have your questions. I have your, qu qu I, I, I have your, 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 your questions written down here. So I'm just gonna, answer, I'm just gonna answer them from here, okay? So I've tried to put them in somewhat of a sensible, somewhat of a sensible. It's probably going to be all over the place and I haven't planned any of my answers, so we'll see what happens. So the first question, the first question is if I have any social media apart from YouTube. <laughs> Especially whenever you ask these sorts of questions, like stuff about, um, like the foods that I eat and like traveling or like my favorite places and stuff, I think it would be so fun. It would be so fun to be able to share that with you on Instagram. Um, but I don't know, I'm like, who would even want to follow it? Like, do you know what I mean? I would imagine I made an Instagram and like two people followed me on Instagram and I'd be like, oh, that's awkward. So I don't know. I've also, it doesn't really count as social media, but I've also started sharing my Depop in my bio because my wardrobe, what do you say? This is my wardrobe. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of open it there, but it's literally busting at the seams. I have so many clothes and loads of them are literally brand new, brand new, brand new, or have been worn like once. And it's such a waste, such a waste, such a waste just to throw them out. So I tried to put some, <laughs> put some on Depop. But anyway, yes, 
these are the only other forms of social media vibes that I share that I share with my on my YouTube on my YouTube on my YouTube. And um, the next question was my favorite song, my favorite song. La 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 la. My favorite song, my favorite song. La 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 la. My favorite song. I wonder could I make a song for you? I wonder if I make a little song for you if I just go. Warming and cute, and I love it. And 51st 
trigger or the is this making you tingle video one of those my dog did come in my dog is he's a cabapoo he's a cabapoo a cabapoo a cabapoo he literally looks like a little teddy bear a little teddy bear and he did come into the video so if you want to go see him look oh he's called look oh look oh look oh look oh look oh look oh and i think i also told the story of his oh he got his name if you want to go and watch that and that moves on to if i have any
ID'd um, a lot. People seem shocked then whenever, or not even ID'd, they kind of ask me what age I am because I feel like I have worked in bars and off licenses as well and I feel like you don't really go off someone's looks as much as you go off their vibes. So like when someone, not that I should be giving advice in case any of you are underage and are trying to get um, served drink, but um, like you can just tell by the way someone is the vibe that they're giving off, that they're, that they're underage. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. It's like they're not, con it's almost like they're not confident. Like they're almost like thinking they're not going to get served because obviously they shouldn't be. Um, like I remember being like 15, 15, 15, 15, 15 and going 
kind of like off licenses with my um, cousin's like ID and pret like pretending to be her. That's how um, everyone goes out in Derry. Um, I know I don't know about um, like American places because obviously you're drinking ages 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, and in American TV shows it seems to be more like fake IDs where you get your own picture and it, but it's a fake ID or over here you just find like a friend or a cousin or a stranger who looks a couple of years older than or who is a couple of years older than you who has like the same hair colour and you use their ID to go out with um, and people do message strangers like I've like there was a point in my life where I didn't see my ID for like eight months because people were texting me because brown hair brown eyes like so much, like my ID is so generic, 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 generic looking that so many people could have used it. Um, so like people were texting me, being like, "Oh, can I use your ID?" But someone else would already have. So I was like, "I'll just text this other girl and get it off her." And like my ID was just like going around everywhere, and like I didn't know these people. Um, like I might have knew of them because in Derry everyone kind of knows of each other, but like I wasn't friends with them. Um, same when I was in school, everyone in my year, if you didn't have a big sister or a big cousin who like looked like you, you would just text, you would just text, you would just, you would just text um, like someone in, in a year or two above you and be like, hey, like, are you going out Saturday? Can I use your ID? <laughs> Which is Or even who's applied for uni and regrets their choice, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Drop out as early as you can because you're probably just going to do it later down the line anyway and it's even more of a disaster, even more of a disaster then. But like, I'm so, 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 I'm so glad that I've dropped out. I'm so, I'm so glad, so, so, so glad that I've dropped out. But yeah, anyway, I don't know if I was having some sort of existential crisis because, ex uh, uh, existential crisis because I just dropped out of uni and I didn't really know what I was going to do. 
you're gonna start a YouTube channel and you're gonna make ASMR. Like, it was so random, like, it was so bizarre. And literally that day, that day, that day, that day, that day, that day, I went on Amazon and ordered one of them, like, little tiny black, like, ten point, ten point, ten point, ten point microphones, the little black ones. And I ordered these. I still have my... I think these are actually the latex gloves that I ordered, like, three years ago. Um, potentially. And I ordered... Right here. And so I just really work that well anymore. Follow my torch, follow my torch. Good, 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 basically my stuff to make myself do it um and also all your comments all your comments all your comments 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 are easily the biggest motivator the biggest motivator <laughs> the biggest motivator and like seeing like subscribers and stuff go up even though it's just like it doesn't really matter it's like oh well, i'm doing it for a reason like people obviously people are obviously watching 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 and enjoying it and enjoy and enjoying it so like it makes you want to keep going um even in like liking content creators like content is so important it's so important it's so <laughs> it's so important like it is so it's like a boost 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 a boost a boost a boost um so yeah and then my someone asked my asmr inspirations Inspir <laughs> inspirations inspirations obviously my biggest one always 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 is
after watching her is whenever I got that just like, oh, I need to make ASMR like, urge I don't know, I don't know she just, I just think she is I just think she is unreal I just think she's unreal unreal, 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 unreal um, and then my, someone asked as well, someone who's from so I'm obviously from, I'm obviously from the north of Ireland, I'm from Northern Ireland Northern Ireland, um Someone who's obviously also from here asked what it's like to make ASMR being from Northern Ireland because it's quite a judgmental place. <laughs> it is quite a judgmental place. <laughs> it is quite well. I've always tried to stick up for Derry and Ireland and Northern Ireland a wee bit and I don't think necessarily that it's like way more judgy than other places. Like when I lived in um Liverpool when I lived I think people were equally as judgmental, but it's so much bigger that like not everyone knows everybody. So it's like the judgment you don't hear about it as much or it doesn't travel as fast or it's not like like there's you there's no point really talking about someone that you don't know. So like some things just are left alone, whereas in dairy, especially everybody knows everybody knows everybody's business. Like if my friend said, oh, did you hear about so and so, like, I would know exactly who she's talking about, so we would, like, talk about it more. Um, like, if someone was like, oh my god, did you hear Carrie, like, made a YouTube channel, like, the person would be like, oh my god, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think we're necessarily more judgmental, I just think it's, like, bigger news, I think it's bigger news, bigger, bigger, bigger news. Um, I said, like, do you know what I mean? If you're in New York, someone making a YouTube channel just okay, like, it's really not a, it's not a big deal at all, it's just, like, whatever, whereas, like, here, it's like, oh my god, that's something different, like, that's, like, that's something different, and the only solution is literally to just to not give a fuck, the only solution is to not give a fuck, not give a fuck, not give a fuck, um, and I well and truly don't, especially because Derry is so, even though it has, can be, like, judgmental, it is, like, so supportive, so, so, so <laughs> such a supportive, like, a place whenever someone doing well, um, like, you'd be, like, so, like, the, the community be, like, so proud of, like, people who've come from there who are doing well for themselves and, like, always, like, when I offer, like, people support, like, people in Derry would do, would do anything to help you, would do anything to help you, would do, would do, would do, would do anything to help you, um, it's just, I think, a certain, like, maybe a minority nowadays, um, I think my generation, or like my generation, is in dairy anyway, becoming like way less like judgy about things like like YouTube or TikTok or like people starting up businesses. They're like being on Inst like stuff they put on Instagram. Like I think everyone just like kind of it's like yeah, just do your own thing. Like go you. But there's obviously a minority who you are. But like oh, who do you think you are? Vibes and it's like who cares. good at supporting people once they're successful and I always think of like Adam, Adam, Adam B, Adam B, Adam B, Adam B, who is a YouTuber, if you don't know, a YouTuber from Derry, who is extremely, extremely successful. Um, he has like a couple of million subscribers. Um, I highly recommend, highly recommend. Um, some of us, if you might be about too old, he, he does great YouTube videos for children. Um, most of the time, but like he bought, he bought his parents always, he bought his parents he, he, he bought his parents house and everything like it's so like heartwarming to see him doing so well and everyone now be like sharing it and being like oh my god like so buzzing for him so proud like blah 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 but like when Adam was in school from what I've gathered from his like content or what he spoke about before and just from knowing the school that he went to like he definitely got like flat out abuse for like trying to start a YouTube channel and being on YouTube back then, being on YouTube <laughs> and being on YouTube back then. Um he went to an all boys school, um, which in Derry is notorious for like the bullying and like people basically not being able to fucking do anything without getting a slagging, without getting a slagging, without getting a slagging. So he hundred percent got like so much abuse for being on YouTube, for making videos, for making videos and being on YouTube and 
oh, it's embarrassing and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And the same people who probably gave him stick about it in school are probably tweeting now, but like, oh my god, this is class. This is so unreal. So I could get, like, people like that, people like that's opinions could not bother me less in the slightest. Um, because if all of a sudden I got two million subscribers, um, which obviously doesn't going really to happen, but like, it would be the people who probably talk Like, oh my god, that's so good, like, good for her. So, you just have to simply not care. You just have to simply not care, not care, not care. Because, like, imagine if in school Adam did be like, oh, I'm getting too much of a slag and I'm gonna delete my channel. Like, he, as life now, is, like, as life now, he's literally, like, worth a fortune. He's, like, living his best life, bought his mom and daddy a house, like, him and his boyfriend are living their best life. Um, because he kept going, because he kept going, because he kept going. So, if you're ever, like, if you ever have a thing that you're passionate about or you enjoy or, um, anything and people, you feel like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do it anymore, maybe I don't want to do it anymore because people, like, what other people think, who cares, who cares, who cares. I always try and teach my brother, you can only, people can only embarrass you if you're embarrassed. Like, if someone came up to me and was like, oh my god, you make ASMR. And there's nowhere to go from there because you can't embarrass someone who's not embarrassed. You can't embarrass someone who's not embarrassed. Who's not embarrassed. So yeah. Um, and the next question was, um, would I ever collab with any other creators? And yes, I absolutely would. Yes, I so. I absolutely would. I absolutely would. I absolutely would. I have at the very very start of my channel. Um, obviously, my dream collab would be Miss Manganese. Of course, of course, of course, of course. But I've loads of it. Uh, loads of artists. Um, I love, who do I love? <laughs> I love ASMR bits, ASMR bits has come to mind, has come to mind, has come to mind. I've seen people suggest as well collabs in my comments and sometimes it's like, I don't know, like someone, a, lot, a couple of people suggested Dakota, Dakota B, Dakota B, Dakota B, and the name rings a bell but I can't put a face to the name or someone suggested Scottish Murmurs and I've meaning to go and search everyone that you'll suggest in my comments um, because I love finding the yeah, smartest, yeah, smartest, yeah, smartest. Um, Luna Bloom, Luna Bloom. I would love, 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 love to collab with Luna Bloom. I'm obsessed with her. Um, dream book and all that. manganese like they have
And that brings one to the question. Well, I suppose I've already answered it. If I speak another language, I do not. I do not, unfortunately. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I do not speak another language. I only speak English. And someone also asked if I speak Kilka. Kilka, 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 Um, so basically they asked if I speak Irish, 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 which I don't. I did Irish in school and I know, like, I can say Chita, 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 or in this case, Chita, 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 which means hello, 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 hello. If someone handed me something, I would say I'd grab my yogurt. Like, I do try and bring it into, even though I don't speak it, like, try and bring it into my life. Or, like, slan. I would say slan, 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 slan. I would say slan a lot, which means goodbye. Or every time anyone goes drinking, we all say slan, just slan, just slan, just slan, just slan, just slan, just which means cheers, cheers, cheers. Um, so I did learn it in school. But in our defense, um, we were colonized and our language was attempted to be wiped out, was attempted to be wiped out, so I'll give myself a pass. But, um, a common mistake. People have asked me that before in here and I've said about it before as well. That person asked if I speak Gaelic, 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 which is different than when people ask if I speak Gaelic. Gaelic is not a language, um, obviously I think it's like a branch of specific la uh, a branch or like a type of language but Gaelic to, like the language that people are referring to when they ask if I speak Gaelic is Irish the language is called Irish um Gaelic is a, is a sport it's a sport it's a sport it's a type of sport in Ireland it's not a language um Someone asked, I didn't write this one down, but someone asked if the lucky charms, the lucky charms, the lucky charms guy is offensive to Irish people. It's offensive. It's offensive to Irish people. Um, I assume that's like the wee leprechaun that's on like the lucky charms box. Um, the answer is, I, I, don't, I don't think Irish people care particularly. That, like, there's no outrage in Ireland about the lucky charms. Um, logo or the man on the box, the man on the box. Um, it's really not something that we discuss here. Um, but to, it, I suppose to answer, is it stereotypical? Like, yes, of course, it's a fucking leprechaun. Um, there, we don't have, le like, leprechauns aren't real. <laughs> um, but no, I wouldn't say offense, like, I'm not, no one's, like, boycotting Lucky Charms over here being like, oh my god. I'm so offended. Um, I think we have bigger problems than the lucky charms and the lucky charms man. But I think that's maybe where <clears throat> a lot of Irish people's mm, what's the word? Not disdain, but like or ang anger might be a bit dramatic to you, but like the way that Irish people Irish people, a lot of Irish people, a lot of Irish people. <laughs> don't like it whenever um like um, Americans are the first or the only example I can really think of of saying like you're Irish um I think the reason that that gets under the skin of, of Irish people quite a lot is because you're trying to a lot of the time people are trying to claim identity as part of a culture that they know nothing about outside of like stereotypes like leprechauns or Guinness or like the really surface stereotypical stuff that isn't even really relevant to like Ireland or Irish culture at all today. At all. At all. At all today. At all. At all. At all today. Um, like obviously I think it's different if someone's like really connected to like their know about the history and they have been to the country and they um kind of understand what it's like cultural culturally cultural culturally 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 but i think it does i think that's probably why it um annoys irish people sometimes whenever they hear people say like i'm irish and it's like and you've never you don't know anything you don't know anything about it kind of vibes um especially because i think it works a bit differently over here. I think, I think it works a bit differently over here. Um, like 
I have friends whose parents are English or whose parents are German or whose parents are like French those people or whose parents are American but they they were born um, like my friends or the people that I know were born in Ireland like at that point when we're here we just say like you're Irish like if like your parents are English like you don't say oh like I'm English or I'm half English I'm half Irish like you just say I'm Irish or if like your parents are like do you know what I mean like if your parents are like German you don't say like oh, you might but most people don't be like oh I'm half German I'm half Irish like you just say I'm Irish like once you're born here and you're raised here that's kind of a, like there's no oh my great 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 granny was Swiss so I'm eighth Swiss like maybe your parents maybe someone if someone's parents were like from Spain they would say oh I'm half Spanish grandparents definitely not like if you're a grandparent if you were in Ireland and you were like oh my granny's Russian so I'm like half Russian you would never live it down you would get the slag of your life like people would be like are you fuck Russian you were born in Derry like end of story so I think there's that cultural difference as well that like kind of where you're born and raised is kind of your cultural identity identity um as far as um, and also uh, another one, I say, I've said this, I've said, I think I've said this on my channel every Paris day, so I'm gonna add it in there now. Um, I think one that always gets people is to see people out celebrating St. Patrick's Day and being like, oh, I'm Irish, it's St. Patrick's Day, but calling it St. Patty's Day. P A T T Y S. Patty's, Patty's. No, no, no. It's P A D. D Y S Paddy 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 which comes from the Irish and um, Patrick is the anglicised version of the Irish name Patrick 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 which has a D in it. So people in Ireland who are called Patrick, their nickname is Paddy with a D with D. So my makeup routine has changed probably quite a lot um, and I recently did a makeup like doing your makeup like if I just do your makeup here I'm just doing your makeup um, and I did go through all the products and stuff that I used and like the order I used them in so it was kind of a tutorial but I just didn't do it on my own face I just didn't do it on my own face and I do always say that I really want to do it I get ready with me I get ready with me I get ready with me me, but I always be in such a rush because I'm the worst timekeeper ever that I never have time so I will try I was going to say I'm going out this weekend but I'm going out at 2 o'clock in the afternoon so I definitely won't have time um, but it's 
some point I will try and do that. Um, and another person asked my favorite product, my favorite paper, my favorite product that I can't live without, can't live without. I have. It just depends. It depends. It depends. It depends. It depends. Um, probably my main one is. People are like, oh my god, your skin looks so clear, it looks so good. One, it's definitely the lighting. I 
things from Water Fortune, Water Fortune, Water Fortune, Water Fortune, Water Fortune. Water Fortune. Water Fortune. <laughs> also love um, spaghetti bolognese in like in, 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 on holidays when I'm on holidays like in Spain or Italy or like I don't know why it just tastes better abroad um, and then someone asked about food like specific to Ireland and dairy do what's called a chicken box a chicken box a chicken box a chicken <laughs> a chicken box a chicken box which is like so so good the best places this question someone asked if or what's the, like the differences between Northern Ireland and Ireland if I've been <laughs> so I don't know um what people like think the vibe is or like how people think that we're separated um but like Ireland like the south of Ireland and the north of Ireland like the borders invisible in the sense that like there's no passport control there's no border control there's no like the only way you would know that you've crossed the border is that like the the signs will change from like miles to kilometers and from um i like pounds to euros like there is no obviously back whenever the troubles were happening back when the troubles there was like armed border, like an armed border with like checkpoints and soldiers and stuff. Um, but as part of the Good Friday Agreement, as part of the Good Friday, Good <laughs> as part of the Good Friday Agreement, um, there was to be no border in Ireland, which is what ca is causing like such a problem with Brexit because obviously the UK <clears throat> have left the EU, so Northern Ireland is part of the UK. So there's supposed to be like obviously border checks on the like, goods and stuff coming in from the EU, but there, there like can never be a border in Ireland because of the Good Friday Agreement like that. So it's just I'm not into politics. Um, all I know is basically it's about the balls. But yeah, so <clears throat> um, like if I drive 15 minutes from my house, like I will be in the south of Ireland. So yes, I have been down through Wesh and I have been there before. <laughs> I have been, I have been, I have been to 
country on the side of Ireland many 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 times I was literally there on St. Patrick's Day when this video was supposed to be posted and then things went about 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 off plan things went about things went about off plan things went about off plan off plan off plan off plan and then someone the same person asked the differences there's minorities in every country in any country um, that aren't great but actually for the most part everyone in Ireland is quite um, friendly and everyone enjoys a joke and I feel like both the north and the south have it in common like where you're from I'm not sure about Dublin I've never really been to Dublin because from like as an adult so I don't really know about there because it's a bigger city but like it's like very much everybody knows everybody like I don't know if you've ever seen if you go on if, if you go on if you go on Twitter or somewhere and search like um and post like the Irish Postal Service sometimes people send a letter from like England and to Ireland and it'll just have like the village name on the letter and it'll say like a oh, boy who lives in house down lane and we used to have a cat named Dave but and it's like a really like bizarre, like specific description. And the letter gets to the person. The letter gets to the person. And this has happened multiple 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 times. So it is very um small and like close knit. Um and everyone is just really good crack, which means like really good fun. And um I would say difference wise, as in like major school system from us they have like their exams are called leave inserts and in the north we do like GCSEs and A levels and like our school curriculum is like entirely different. We have two completely different governments um the, well Northern Ireland didn't really have well we got a government very recently but we didn't have government there for quite a long time um because oh let's just let's just not get into it. Let's just not get let's just <laughs> Let's just not get into it, but yeah, we have completely different governments. Um, what else is different if anyone's from Ireland? Like, apart from Dublin, which is like a city, I would say, per in my personal opinion, I think down south is a lot more rural and like country life, but then the north is as well. Like, the north is quite like country as well, but down south, like, the roads. I would love for you to see some of the roads that are like in like rural Ireland um like they just don't even qualify as a road which they do exist up in the north as well but I feel like it's more common down there um but yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't really know I don't, I don't really like notice like too many differences I don't really think about it that much um and then I don't know if it's just because I've been like my daddy's from Donegal and my mom's from Derry so I don't know if it's just because I've been going between down south and the north for like well, I feel like I feel like most people in Ireland kind of kind 
<laughs> can you go between the two especially if you live in the Northern Derry because you're on the border whereas like people who live very very far down south um, might might not go to the might, 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 might not come to the north that often might not come to the north that often might not come to the north that, the north that often um, <clears throat> but yeah what was the next question oh, I thought the next question was about like travelling so um, places that I've travelled to and the last place that I've travelled to so the last place that I the last place that I've travelled the last place that I've travelled the last place that I've travelled the last place that I've excuse me are you paying attention are you paying attention the last place that I travelled to was Mallorca question that I actually get asked a lot and I love it. I've been to like um, London and I loved in Liverpool and England and like Manchester and stuff but I don't know if that counts because the flight's like half an hour from here to there. Um, I actually remember that once I said on my channel um, about how I used to, when I was at uni, I used to fly home to Derry for a weekend specifically to eat the food and then fly back to England and someone commented once and I was like oh my So much money if you're just able to fly, take a flight for food, and I was like, I think I actually replied and was like, yeah, the flight's like twelve pounds, <laughs> not um, not exactly breaking the bank. Um, so yeah, if you like don't take lots of luggage, the flights from England to Ireland are quite cheap in between like Scotland and England, and England and or not Scotland, England, Ireland, and Scotland. Um. Um, and it's only half an hour and then, oh yeah, the other thing I get asked a lot was if I've been to America, America, if, if, I, if I've been to America, if I've been to America, if I've been to America, if I've been, if I've been to America, I have, I have been to America, I've been to America, I went to New York, I went to New York, well, that was my next door neighbor's dog, so loud all the time, um, I have been to America, I've been New York. Um, I was supposed to go to Miami and COVID got it cancelled. I was supposed to go to Las Vegas and COVID got it cancelled. So I've just been to New York and I feel like at the time, I think I was like 13. I was too, I think I was just too young to appreciate it. I think I was too young. I think I was too young to appreciate it. I was too young to appreciate it. Um, I did love it. Like I loved and I just thought it had such a different like feeling. I don't know how to explain it. And I'm excited to go back to see like if I get the same feeling or like I don't know it was weird um but I am going to New York again and I actually need your advice I actually need your advice this is what I need your advice about this what I need your advice your advice about your advice about because I know a lot of my subscribers are American can you hear the rain it's been going between being really sunny and hailstoning all day here um He's not going to know for another month. I will be so upset if he sees this or someone else sees this and tells him, which I don't think they would do. Um, but yeah, I've booked to go to New York in November because basically, um, I'll explain what happened. I'll explain what happened, okay? So basically, I knew, 
knew that my boyfriend would only want to, he's always said he kind of would only want to be in New York at Christmas time. He would want to experience Christmas time in New York. ago when the Rockefeller tree was lit last year and I seen that it was like the 26th of November or something it was like the 26th of November like the 29th no I think it actually sorry I think it was actually the 20th no sorry it was the 29th of November was it no it was the 26th of November sorry backtrack 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 so I'm back to another backtrack and I think it was like the 26th of November so I can book us to go for the last weekend of November and we'll still be back in time to go to work but we'll be booking the Christmas lights and like things, it'll be Christmassy. So I went and booked the flights, booked our hotel and stuff and then I went to book our tickets for Broadway, we're going to see a Broadway show, we're going to see, we're going to see a Broadway show, we're going to see a Broadway show that we went and seen when they did it in like an amateur theatre here in Derry and we loved it. It was Little Shop of Horrors and my boyfriend really enjoyed it so I thought that would be really funny present so I went on to book it and the options were either um, one of two nights and I was like right I don't I don't I won't know the exact date that this tree is being lit or I thought I wouldn't um, but let me at least check does it happen on the same day every year or like can I gauge when I should book this show so I can book it for the opposite So I googled, um, when does the Rockefeller tree be lit up, which is why I probably should have googled the first time instead of googling when did that get lit in 2023. And obviously as anyone who is American I'm sure is watching this will probably know it popped up first Wednesday after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is not a thing here, obviously. It's an American holiday. It's obviously not a thing here. like oh okay so when's thanksgiving this year i googled it and it's the day after we arrive in new york so not only will the tree not be lit which i can live with because could someone please tell me is it still christmasy i'm assuming it's still because it is still november is it still christmas is it still is it still christmasy is it still christmasy and second of all obviously a whole lot of places are going to be closed on thanksgiving which is not ideal Third of all, the day after Thanksgiving is Black Friday, so everywhere is going to be crazy and crowded, um, which all, I mean, New York's going to be crowded anyway, but you know, I mean, if you want to, like, go around shops and stuff, like, it's just going to be mental, it's just going to be mental all weekend, all weekend, it's going to be mental all weekend, all weekend, all weekend. <laughs> um, so that was kind of a downer when I first realised it, I was kind of a bit annoyed about it, and felt like it was kind of ruined, but not ruined, because it's still in New York and it's still going to be amazing, but I was a bit like, ugh, that's super annoying, that's super, super annoying, super, super annoying. So can everyone here, um, if you do think that it's ruined, please don't tell me, please call for me, because I can't change my flights, I can't change my flights. Like, even if I could change my flights and do it a week later, we can't give it off work, so we have to go, because it's that weekend, the last weekend of, um, November. So if anyone could please tell me things that we could be doing, fun things that we could do in New York on Thanksgiving, um, like where we can eat, like what the best things to do is, and if I am going to be the most annoyed person in the whole world dealing with the Black Friday, or if it's going to be like fun, or like, like 
det är liksom lite som att bli lucky. <laughs> and then after the people try like the next day's day, like Thanksgiving parade and stuff is on. Um I'm just not a, I'm just not really a parade gal. Maybe that one will be different because it's obviously like a major like crazy parade, but it just doesn't it just doesn't strike me as something that would interest me whatsoever. But um yeah, everyone please give me advice on things to do in New York, like the best places to go, especially at Thanksgiving. Um and then we'll be over like we're there for four five four days, I think four nights. answers the question, yes I've been to America and yes I'm going to America and I need to go on a lot of places. The next question was about if I have if I have hobbies, 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 what I what I um what I do in my free time outside of videos and making videos and outside of work and stuff like that. And the honest truth answer is that I don't really have any free time. I don't really have any free time. Um by the time I factor in um like working and studying and trying to make videos and I'm so busy the rest of the time. I don't want to spend it having a hobby. I want to spend it being horizontal. My hobby is being horizontal. I was not born to be vertical. I was born to just lie down. So yeah, my hobbies literally include um, lying in bed, watching TV. more about like fitting people like it's more about fitting the people in my life into my free time rather than like a hobby but recently um by recently i mean i've done it twice i did go to pilates twice recently twice i had to go to pilates twice recently but i don't think that qualifies as a hobby um <laughs> i've done it twice in three weeks um but yeah i do want to take up some form of fun exercise because i hate like running and going to the gym like it just puts me in a bad mood so I want to do something like fun and help that be a good idea. Um, what else do I do? Someone else do I play video games? I don't, I don't, I don't play video games. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't play video games. Um, the closest video game that I would play is Mario Kart on the Wii. And I haven't played that in ages, but I went through a phase in my life, on my, like, on, not me, but my family, um, of just playing Mario Kart all the time. I loved it, loved it, loved it. But I don't think that that's what you're asking me about. I don't think you're wondering about my my Wii. Um, so yeah, like every Saturday morning I go to the same cafe, me and my boyfriend, and we get um, the same uh, lunch and the same coffee and that's kind of my weekly, like, I don't know, that doesn't really count as a hobby, but it's like the one thing that I do every single week um, outside of working and stuff. But tomorrow birthday so she thinks that me and her are just going out to do well she was supposed to think that me and her were just going out for lunch but my daddy accidentally told her this bottomless brunch earlier uh, he's known for like three weeks and it was only the night before that he managed to spoil it but she thinks it's just me and her but my aunties and my cousins and my all her best friends and my sister's flying home from scotland and my granny's coming so we're all going out we're all going out we're all going out to do bottomless bottom um, so, yeah, I'm missing my cafe date tomorrow, which is sad, but the bottom of the bunch will be super fun, and then once all the girls go to the bottom of the bunch, we can, like, say, I'll go to the bar afterwards, and then when we get to the bar, my daddy and my uncles, my granda, and my boyfriend, like, all the boys are going to be there waiting to surprise her again, so it's going to be super fun, super fun, it's going to be super fun, it's going to be super, 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 super fun, and I really have so much to do before then, and so I have videos to film, and my room needs clean, and I have to Next question was oh the next question was really nice. The, qu the next question asked if my if I had braces, if I had braces or if my teeth were always nice. Um, I don't think my not that I think my teeth are bad, but I did have braces. Um, I only had to have them for like nine months, and my teeth were fine then. But my well, like the dog that we used to have got all 
hold my retainers one day and chewed them so I didn't have retainers like I don't have retainers I haven't had retainers for years and years and years um so I didn't put to wear my retainers so my teeth were kind of moved out of place again my teeth were kind of moved out of place again <laughs> my teeth were kind of moved out of place again out of place again and I really 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 when we were younger and then took my retainers and then she got braces again when she, she just paid can you get when she was like um 18 or something but she got like actual like metal like braces um and then she was only supposed to have them for a while and then we went into lockdown and she couldn't get them off and that's just a nightmare fun fact but yeah we were like on this line um but it's just so expensive it's so expensive <laughs> it's, 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 it's so expensive um and then someone asked piercings and tattoos and um, I have my ears pierced obviously and then I have my belly button 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 pierced my belly button my belly button my belly button pierced um I have no tattoos because I'm terrified anyone who's watched my channel for a while will know I'm petrified of needles I hate them and I have a phobia of pain tolerance and I hate being uncomfortable I hate being in pain um get my belly button pierced I did it for, I did it when I was 15 um I did it when I was 15 and I actually sent my sister as a test rabbit first she was talking about doing it and my ma was like oh you should both do it um and i was like well you can go like first and if you think it's not if, if it's not too bad or it doesn't hurt too much if it doesn't hurt too much then i'll go like the week after i get it done because she went and got it done and came back and was like oh it's fine it's like doesn't really hurt like at all so i was like right great i'll book in so my ma and my auntie came with me and it was the worst experience ever for them and the best experience ever for them because I can't remember because I did film the start of this two days ago was if I got HIV and if I go to uni and I think I already answered that did I? I am I'm 24 I'm 24 I just turned 24 I just turned 24 and I did go to uni but I dropped out and now um, I do a treaty to the Covenant Government so I do technically like have to study but it's not uni um, and then the last question the last question you'll be glad to hear you'll be you'll be glad is my plans for the future and my dream job my dream job my dream job um honestly i don't i've always said i don't dream of having a job i don't like dream of having a job i don't like dream of, of like a specific job um cre i mean creating smr Doing this full time would probably be my dream job. Um, especially, especially, I always think when I when I start, whenever I whenever I start a family, whenever I have a family, I definitely don't want to like work in an office full time. Um, like I understand like people do. I understand like other people do a hundred percent. I think everyone, I think everyone does, like, <laughs> should do what suits them and what they want to do. But I personally, um, don't think I. So maybe something like you work, maybe something like you work from home. At the minute, like I like my job. Um, it's a bit stressful sometimes. It's a bit stress. It's a bit stressful sometimes, and I hate hate early mornings. I think that's why great nice more full time would suit me so well because, like, it's twelve o'clock at night. I've just started filming, and like I could do this normally for ages, but like at eight o'clock in the morning, I just don't function. I just don't function. I just don't function. I just don't function. I just don't function, I just don't function at all. Um. So yeah doing my normal like nine to five or like eight to half five job just doesn't just doesn't but i don't dream of that i don't dream of that i don't dream of that at all i don't dream of that at all um so my plans for the future i don't really know i probably should know oh no not really i'm only 24 i'm only 24 i'm only 24 i can figure it out i can figure it out and i feel a bit stressed now about it because it'll all work out it'll all work out it'll all work out it'll all work out in the end but obviously i want to keep qualified with my accountant because even though i might not want to do that forever i would love to have it like i would you know once you're qualified like you always have that to fall back on to have that to fall back on especially because i did drop 
degree unit. I don't have a degree to fall back on, so I've worked at something. Uh, and then I've just like dealt with my family, I've had to travel loads, um, and just have fun, 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 just have fun. I know a lot of people enjoy rambling, 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 rambling videos, especially to have on in the background, the background, the background, because sometimes I just like, when I'm just talking or something, I just like, I have it on the background, I'm not really even listening, but I just have it on the background. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that my phone is going to be, it's like an hour and a half, so I hope my phone's going to be 